That has to do with the military. So this is a prototype system. This is... Yeah, but she's asleep now. Um, I'm sorry, are you recording me? Yeah! Oh, okay. Um, so actually, if you look on uh, NPR Science Friday, they've got an extensive bit on this that they did. Uh, so what is this? The, this robot is a prototype system that we are using to try to understand how we need to build the future robots. Okay. Um, so right now, this one is in particular not intended to be doing any, it's not intended to be deployed, it's just mm -hmm. for experiments. Okay. And what we focus on is trying to figure out how best to build their brains mm -hmm. so that they're easier to work with. Right. Um, specifically, we build simulations of people and put them on the robot so it behaves more like us. Uh -huh. So that you can interact with the robot without hours of training. Instead, you just interact with it like you would any other person. Uh -huh. That's the theory, at least. So it's about. artificial intelligence. You betcha. So what kind of computer you use as a... Um... We use all of them. I mean, we've got, we've got Windows box here for uh, perception. Uh, we've got a uh, Linux stack for motor control. Um, we've got some apples that we use for the uh, higher level reasoning. Uh, pretty much we span the gamut. We use a wide range of technologies and techniques in order to do this. Okay, so basically you have a bunch of different motherboards inside of a box and each of them control the function and doing their own thing? Yeah, each, it's a very distributed system. Mm -hmm. different, different computers running different, different programs, all responsible for different aspects of function. Okay, now what about the hand? What do you have in the hand? Is there sensors where this thing don't squeeze too hard? Uh, no, actually the, the hands are designed primarily just so they can communicate with gestures. Oh. They're intended for, the, a lot of the research behind this is for nonverbal communication. I which see. Which is why it's got a expressive face and hands in the structure of the way it is. So it can recognize and give military gestures, mm -hmm. it can recognize facial expressions and mimic facial expressions. So that if it's confused, you know whether it's confused, if something unexpected has happened, it'll look surprised. So. What, is, what company is that? The company who built this robot? So the hardware was built by Saito. It's a company that uh, is made up by a bunch of um, MIT graduates. Uh -huh. um, they designed and did the, uh, the, the head uh, with MIT and then with um, some input from NRL, they designed the, the rest of the body for us. For I see. So this company is, um, is it a defense contractor or? Uh, no, it's, it's, a, it's a private, it's a privately owned company and they do a wide range of research and development, R&D for both um, motor, motor control systems, hands, and then also this total package. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. That means you don't want to kill the people, right? You don't want to kill the people. The whole, the whole point we have the non lethal weapons program is to give you options mm -hmm. between having to shout and just shooting. So that shout to shoot. Mm -hmm. If all I have is what I have today, mm -hmm. which is lethal weapons, mm -hmm. and I want you to do something like stop, and I'm saying stop, 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 stop. I've got my hand and arm signals, mm -hmm. using pistol flares, so you're not stopping. My only other option is to get you to stop is to shoot at you, right? Right. So you shoot a warning shot with a lethal round. I can put this in the ground. actual live round. Mm -hmm. Or to shoot you or your vehicle, disabling fire, mm -hmm. wounding shots, trying to do something if you stop. Right. That doesn't work in all situations. Exactly. Right? Especially doesn't work in an environment like Afghanistan or Iraq where I've got people that are insurgents. Because if those people are they not dead, they'll civilians. come back. Well, not only that, but I've got civilians in the population. Right. Right. So I'm worried about the civilian population getting injured when I don't mean them harm. Exactly. So I want to determine hostile intent. Mm -hmm. trying, are you trying to cause me harm or are you just confused? Maybe you don't understand because I'm talking to a prostitute you just speak earlier. Mm -hmm. Right? You know how many dialects there are across Afghanistan? Exactly. So these start giving me a, a way to reach out at long distances, all the way into short distances, mm -hmm. and get your attention to try to modify your behavior and change what you're doing mm -hmm. before I need to go lethal when the time allows for it. I At see. no time are we trying to say get rid of non or get rid of lethals or replace with non lethals. Mm -hmm. You always want both. You want an escalation of force and options to escalate force. Mm -hmm. So if you start out, I've got a flashlight here. Mm -hmm. it looks like a standard flashlight one you might have at home. The mm -hmm. is this is a tactical flashlight. Mm -hmm. The tactical flashlight is very, very strong, very powerful, much more powerful than a standard flashlight. Mm -hmm. So if I hit you in your eyes, the first thing you do is close your eyes, right? Right. You look to close your eyes, you want to back
back up. Mm -hmm. Now imagine if I can give you this kind of effect at 100 meters. Exactly. Now imagine if I can give that effect at 1,000 meters. Mm -hmm. I can't do that on flashlight, but I can get that same effect with a laser. Oh, okay. So we've got two different lasers, which we call dazzling lasers. Mm -hmm. They're different than a standard targeting laser, mm -hmm. which by its design is not meant to do anything but target. Exactly. It's not IC. Right. It's not meant to be used in a dazzling manner. These are specifically designed from the ground up to be a dazzling laser. To ocul optically or ocularly incapacitate the unit, just like you did in the way. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. But I want to do that in range. So you know I'm talking about two kids. There's no ambiguity. I'm talking to you. And it's a lot more effective at night than day, but effective in the day as well. Mm -hmm. At night, especially, I get your windshield. Mm -hmm. and that's what's going to look like across your windshield. Wow. There's no doubt I'm talking to you. You're the driver. Mm -hmm. Now, that's your first step. I'm giving you to say, hey, I'm talking to you. Stop doing what you're doing. You continue towards me. Right. You start entering different ranges. Mm -hmm. So I'm yelling at you on an acoustic hailing device, mm -hmm. like an LRAD or a MAD. Mm -hmm. I've got a translator sitting there talking to you, or a phrase later talking to you, a native tongue, with warning sirens. I'm hitting you with the laser. You still have a I know. I go to something like the FN 303. It's mm -hmm. a compressed air marketing system. Made by you say FN? FN. Oh, okay. Fabrique National. Okay. So makes it. Fabric National, that's like a French company or something? No, it is an international company. Uh -huh. they, they make a lot of weapons worldwide, lethal weapons. Mm -hmm. We also have a non-lethal side. Okay. This is one of their non-lethal weapons. Mm -hmm. So we use a 3,000 PSI mm -hmm. compressed air canister. Right. Just basic air, mm -hmm. compressed off of the scuba tank. I can launch up to five different types of cartridges right now. Mm -hmm. Two of them are paints, one's clear. One's a nerve powder and one's a, basically a, a powder form of the OC spray. Mm -hmm. It's orange. But I can load that into this weapon and I can fire these down range mm -hmm. at a greater range than my blunt impact munitions go. So you're talking roughly anywhere up from 10 meters out to about 75 meters ish. Mm -hmm. I can start using this. So as uh -huh. you're now coming towards me, I'm yelled at you. Mm -hmm. I've hit you with lasers. Mm -hmm. I've hit you with this weapon. If I don't have this weapon, I wait till you get to my shotgun and 40 millimeter impact mm -hmm. warning area. Right. Where I can use bean bags. I what is this? Bean bags. Bean bag rounds. Mm -hmm. What is that? Right. It's bean bag with shot inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. I use that, or I can use rubber impact rounds, mm -hmm. either from the 12 gauge or from the 40 millimeter. Your standard 203 or M79 or Milcor shoots 40 millimeter. Mm -hmm. All of these are different types of munitions I can send down range. Again, hitting you in your person or hitting you in your vehicle. Right. You keep coming down. I use sting balls up close. If you're in a vehicle, I can trap your vehicle. Okay. I don't have to shoot the vehicle. Right. I may decide because of my ROE to do so, but I don't have to. Certain, certain situations allow me to use a trapping situation. Cops, you see me spike strips all yes. the time. That's the air out of the tires. Uh -huh. The vehicle continues to drive down the street, parking, sparking little rims, and keeps on trucking, right? That's what this does. That's all this does. This, very different. Here, I've got spikes right. that are made to go into the tire and they don't come out. Mm -hmm. Too sensible. So when that vehicle drives towards... The tire is gone, but they, they drive on the ram. I see a lot of them do that. Not with this. Oh, no? When you go through this, this wraps around the tire. Uh -huh. It continues to wrap around the axle. Mm -hmm. It breaks the car to stop in a couple of vehicle lengths. Do you, you have a... You back out and you can't drive through it. Do you have a system where you could actually turn, stop the engine itself? We have some systems like the, the non-lethal vessel stopping, mm -hmm. which we're working on that using the RF energy, mm -hmm. but it's not ready to hit the fleet yet. What, this one right there? So it's being tested right now to see what works and what doesn't work. So more, all these technology, you guys have them, but you're not using them. That's but, not true. Everything on this table is being used by one or more services right now. Fielded in theater. And this one is the... This one's the taser. This is the one everybody sees because they see it on cops. They see somebody yeah. get shot with probes. I would love to have one of those. So it's got a probe, that cartridge I can put in here with two probes in it. Mm -hmm. When I shoot, those probes separate and hit a person. I need two probes to hit, mm -hmm. separated by four inches or more to get the full effect of this. Mm -hmm. okay? And this gives you how many watts of electricity? It gives you approximately 1,500 volts across the body. Okay. I'm, 